Travis Hearn uh, live down here at Lawn uh, with the Mobile Engagement Unit team uh, members. We've got Alan Waters and Kayla Dwyer from the um, MEU team. Uh, Alan, we've heard a lot about the uh, Mobile Engagement Unit. We've heard it being referred to by a number of names, everything from the Big Red Bus, uh, as it's uh, been or become known down here. What can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the actual bus does? The bus is set up to pass information, up-to-date information, onto residents and visitors, and we have done that uh, very successfully over the last couple of days. Fantastic, and I believe that it was used um, extremely successfully. The uh, the mini MEUs, which are behind the uh, high-vis cars, were used quite successfully also, uh, most recently uh, Christmas Day uh, when the fires took hold in Wye River. Is that correct, Kayla? Yeah, it's great. We uh, can get into places that uh, this big bus can't, so we uh, get out to residents who may may not be able to come to us. And I believe too, Alan, uh, they were also used, the MEU team was also used um, in the evacuation of both uh, Wye River and Lawn. Um, can you tell us any more about how well the evacuation went and how well the information went across to those residents? The information about the evacuation went over extremely well. It was broadcast at the, at the meetings and then when it actually came to happen, the uh, police had the area zoned off, so they searched the zone at a time, got people out. The uh, result was very smooth. We've had a lot of feedback from residents saying how well it was organised and everybody cooperated extremely well, as they have done for the whole of this engagement. The public response has been terrific. Fantastic. And uh, just finally, the onboard equipment that you have here, um, I believe it's uh, we've got connectivity so we can get the latest incident mapping up uh, to show the public um, to work off so that we know where the fire is going, etc. Uh, how do you think that helps or assists in um, getting that information across in a timely manner, Kayla? Oh, that's been absolutely useful when, when people come in and they get a real idea of what the fire is looking like and they can see what sort of danger they are actually in. Yeah. Excellent. And, uh, Alan, how are the team actually uh, performed down here, the entire MEU team? The team has performed very well. We've got a couple of newcomers uh, on and they have done well. We are fairly experienced in it now and we are talking and cooperating with the public better than ever, I believe. It's been very good. And in terms of numbers, Kayla, just finishing up, uh, how many people over the last, or uh, well, since this fire's been here and the MEU team's been down here, um, how many people have we seen through, roughly? It's hard to put a number on it because there's just been thousands through throughout every day. So, look, I'd be I'd be talking upwards of, um, of 5,000, yeah. Fantastic. So uh, there you go, folks. That's um, excellent work by the MEU team, uh, an integral part of um, CFA's arsenal in uh, delivering that timely information uh, when the public need it the most in times of disaster.